You don't choose this path, you know, with the intention of becoming a scholar. You don't choose this path with the intention of becoming a teacher, a researcher, uh, a spiritual guide. It's like this path is choosing you. And it's a reminder of always falling in love with God. It's a path towards God. And your study is just a mean or tool to reaching God. So whatever comes with it, comes with it. You know, you never intend to become a scholar. And you never intend to become a teacher. You don't intend to become a writer. But as you're going along on this path towards God, he will show you whatever means, whatever tools that's necessary for you to use in order to reach him. And that might mean that sometimes you will not become, you will not be famous, you will not be well known. You might be hidden writing your books for your whole life in some small village somewhere, but it doesn't matter because you still, still have that connection to God. So as a student, and we call ourselves students for the rest of our lives. Now we, reach, we don't reach a certain point. We say, oh, I achieved uh, becoming a scholar or I achieved becoming a teacher. No, I'm always a student. I'm always a student of God. I'm always a student of life in the end. Nowadays, we have all sorts of means and paths. And you know, it's just the knowledge is there. It's available. And sometimes I remember one of my Aqai teachers and he told me, if you're too tired of studying, maybe go out in nature. You know, God is the true teacher, so God will show you. It's not always found in books. It's not always found in teachers. It's found in what God already created. So maybe even going nature is studying housing in that sense, if you study for the sake of reaching God.